Ruxolitinib è il primo ed unico farmaco ad oggi approvato dall'EMA e anche a livello degli Stati Uniti dall'FDA per la vitiligine. Quanto è importante questa terapia? Dove si sta spingendo la ricerca di Insight, l'azienda che appunto ha sviluppato questa molecola e anche quanto è ricca la loro pipeline in questo ambito? Ne parliamo con il dottor Jim Lee che è a capo della ricerca dedicata alle patologie autoimmuni infiammatorie di Insight. Dottor Lee, Insight has presented multiple studies at this congress, especially in vitiligo, a disease with a high and met need in terms of treatment. Ruxolitinib is the first and only treatment approved for the disease in the United States and is recently received EMA approval. As head of inflammation and autoimmunity research at Insight, can you tell us more about what makes this molecule particularly innovative and comment on new data presented at this congress? Absolutely. We're very excited to present new data on ruxolitinib cream in the treatment of vitiligo. And ruxolitinib cream is the first and only treatment approved for repigmentation for vitiligo patients. And the reason ruxolitinib cream works so well is that because it targets the cytokines that uh, drive the T lymphocytes, the cells that actually destroy the melanocytes. And the reason this is important is that the melanocytes actually lay the pigment down in the skin. So by blocking the destruction of the melanocytes, uh, we're able to help patients repigment their skin. Uh, and we've been able, been able to show today or yesterday at this conference that with prolonged treatment, patients continue to see treatment benefit with ruxolitinib cream. And even for patients who are slower responders, so patients who did not respond very well in the first six months of treatment, with continued treatment, uh, many of those patients, in fact, a majority of those patients, were able to see significant repigmentation. So we're very excited to share that new data here. Which are the most exciting prospects regarding the Insight pipeline in dermatology? In addition to ruxolitinib cream, we're very excited to continue our development of our oral JAK1 molecule, porvocitinib. We currently have that molecule in development for disease called hydroadenitis superativa, as well as patients with more extensive vitiligo. So we, we think that that molecule could be the best in class JAK1 oral inhibitor. We're very excited to continue its development for patients with dermatological conditions.